Hey everyone, welcome to Higan Iruthil. And um, before we move with this video, guys, I just want to apologize if you hear any buzzing in the recording because it's um, I'm actually on the road on vacation and I don't have a regular recording unit or, or equipment with me. So please bear with me and uh, let's go back to this video. So these are going to be beginner mistakes that um, I think you have been doing or um, you think that you're doing but are, is not sure that is wrong. So basically, I'm going to point out these mistakes or habits that I want you guys to break because um, they are either slowing you down or you're missing some of the opportunities within the game. Okay, starting off with uh, number one, play early and play late so it's uh, advisable that you guys um uh play because your energy here your ether is actually going to regenerate within the day so if you play in the morning when you wake up you'll be consuming energy and it will be recharging and probably um early evening or late afternoon you could actually play again with a full set of energy so if you don't have that habit yet um, please do make sure that you play in the morning so that you have time to recharge. Again, if you're free to play, it's best that you use this practice already. And uh, on another note, this is going to be number two. I'm going to go back to your energy. So energy refills can be refilled with this one. So this is um, this a canister for um, energy or ether refills. If you don't have this already, you'll be forced to use uh, the, the Brostal exchange. So this uh, currency, it, um, this is going, this the uh, Brostal is going to be used in terms of summoning for your heroes or units. So if you use it here, especially if you're free to play, you won't be have enough to pull for for banners that are upcoming since banners are usually limited so this is this is it this is the dubrio style that you're going to be using for energy if you really need a refill uh, of dubrio style uh, of costing dubrio style probably one is good as you can see here i only have one attempt but um upwards of one i don't think this is recommended so please make sure that you are aware when you when you refill where does your energy come from does it come from this type of canister or does it come from your dobrio style um currency so that is uh, number two guys um my third one is going to be uh connected to your roster so if you have missed my reroll guide um especially if you're free to play uh please make sure that you do a reroll because a reroll gives you at least one advantage when you're free to play because you're not spending for the game but you get to you know you get to reroll for several or one at least one of the ssrs that are available so if you miss this opportunity um although you're still gonna be good but this gives you an advantage if you're free to play Again, spending none on a game and progressing well enough is actually an advantage. So please make sure that you reroll, guys, if you are free to play. So again, uh, for me, I was able to to reroll for Fen here, which is she's actually decent. And uh, the guaranteed SSR, I got a copy of Media. Media is also terrific, but again. If I didn't reroll for, if, if I didn't do the reroll, I would only have Siakom and Media. So uh, I won't be having Fen. So again, rerolling for free to play is actually crucial. Okay, so, okay, so sorry for that one. I was uh, going to be going to the roster anyway. So next on number four is uh, wasting resources on upgrading multiple characters. Take note, guys that resources in this game is going to be scarce as you progress towards 30 level 30 and 50 so as much as possible make sure that you only have four uh up to four 
or five characters at most to level up, especially if you're starting because again, resources are very scarce, especially for free to play. So again, make sure that you only have four to five. The sixth one is actually a luxury if you're gonna go there. Um, that is why I stopped leveling up Queen because I, I was about to make that mistake. But eventually, I will be I will be leveling up more characters as the game progresses because again we will go to to that eventually. So again, level up only four to five at the start um, of your begin of your journey as a beginner. So next one is um, not customizing your characters based on your team or play style. What do I mean here? Customizing is um, like, for example, here you can toggle between skills. This is actually a customization already. So if you don't read a skill, sometimes uh, some skills are different from each other. Um, a classic example is I'm going to go be going back to Roko. So Roko here, if you go to his, her active skill, these two are going to be different. This one is going to be healing. This one um, gives blind. So again, from healing to blind, definitely your play style is going to shift a bit. So it would really depend again on your team or on your play style. So take note of that. Our next one um, is going to be my sixth. Okay, so the sixth um, mistake I think that you guys are are making already is going to be let's go with Armand here. Is not being able to take advantage of the affinity. Why I'm saying this? It's because your affinity, when it grows, it also gives you stats. So AD armor, HP. AD armor again there are a lot of affinity bonuses that they can avail of so let's uh, move to some of the ones that I have opened already let's go with Finn here so if you go with her affinity yes I've opened it I've opened it already so two and three HP 21 armor 2 86 uh, armor 2 this contributes actually to their combat power so don't forget this don't neglect this this is not just something that you just level up and uh, um, it only opens the info store in voice it also gives additional stats so that is number six okay i'm um, going back to number uh, sorry going back to the screen the character screen so now this is number seven if you already have a group of characters here or heroes that you are building, please also think of what other characters or prepare other characters in the future that you will need, particularly uh, in terms of element. Like, for example, if I have light, this is wind, this is fire, this is light. I don't have dark here. So... Gildan would be my answer for that one. And I don't have um, hydro or water. So black is my answer to that. Make sure that you actually prepare for that because some of the stages that you'll be encountering would really require a you know an element of, uh, of a stronger affinity versus the elements of the enemies that you are encountering. So you might need... Um, you might need an element that counters that specific element so look to future um, heroes that you want to build and make sure that you stick to that game plan because again if you level up a bunch i, I remember in cbt i leveled up a bunch of fire fire heroes and it really it really burned me literally because um it's hard it's a hard match up if you're if your element is weak versus your opponent and all of them are fire so again please make sure that you plan ahead in terms of your hero um you know hero roster so that you won't have a problem with some of the stages moving forward okay so number eight is um, stage selection when farming so what i mean by this is if you go to the skill here 
So just wanna uh, let's say for example this uh, it's the blue one that I'm comparing right now. So this one, the basic combat technique. If you farm this here, so let's say for example, um, if you farm this th this one, this element here, technique combat uh, intermediate combat technique. So this one yields you a guarantee of two, but this costs you twenty seven. Since this game is um, is going to be is, um, is going to uh, be energy a hog on energy. We need to be wise enough when we do farm. So if you if you need this, uh, and you have twenty seven energy here, try to look back to the other stages because you might only see this because this is this is the um, the far most the far right most uh, stage that you can farm. But in reality, if you only need this, then you can actually farm this one because this costs twenty four. Or you can farm this one, which is the same number, but it only costs 21. So again, please make sure that you select the proper stages before you farm so that you can you can be able you can, you know, um, at least save enough of your energy for other stages or other resources to farm. So again, uh, from 27 to uh, with two here. This one is a 21 to 2 as well. So there is a 1 in the middle if you need 3, and it's 24. So please make sure that you farm in the right stage, not just farm the rightmost stage that you have in your screen. So also, guys, I just want to actually remind you, um, probably one of the mistakes that we are, you know, we are uh, assuming that most of the characters in a game especially if they're sr and r are trash so in this game um not all srs are trash some of them are are very very good characters so don't assume that you will just forget about them and will just concentrate on your ssr so please make sure that you also select from the group of srs this will make your progress even easier especially if you're free to play so don't rig don't you know don't uh neglect srs and even again r so clore and isa are one of the best um r units that you can level up especially if it's early in the game and especially if you're beginner and free to play and the last guys um the tenth um, tip or beginner mistake that you might make or you did make is again buying of accounts i i, I wouldn't suggest um you guys buy an account for this game this game is too free to play friendly for me that you don't need to get ahead by buying an account um again um it's it's unnecessary uh and probably you'll regret it because some of the free-to-play players might have the same start as you do but you bought your account so again those are the 10 um, beginner mistakes that uh hopefully you won't do or probably um you realize that you did but more or less at least um, I, at this point i've told you that um you won't have you won't really that you don't really need to do those um, to play this game. And actually, the last tip that I have is um, please do subscribe to my channel because, again, if you don't subscribe, you will miss a lot of content coming from my channel. So that's the 11th tip for this video. So, again, guys, thank you very much. Comment down in the comment section if, if you think that there are some beginner mistakes that I didn't cover. Uh, so that th we may discuss. So thank you very much for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is the Warden. And I'm out of here.